Hello everyone, I am switching things up a little bit for this week's movie Crypto Quote video because before we even get to anything puzzle related, I do want to do my movie and TV recommendations and to be completely honest with you guys, me using my platform to speak up more is very new to me. I am a non-confrontational person in general, and I always thought that the best use of my voice was to spread positivity by strictly keeping things to entertainment content and stuff about Dewey, but I'm changing that right now. And one of my favorite things that I saw happening on social media on Tuesday when many were observing Blackout Tuesday was people using that as an opportunity to amplify voices in the black community. And that is exactly what I want to do more of right now. Not only did everyone on this list that I'm going to give you guys right now create something that I think is a must-see for a variety of reasons, but they're also very active on social media and their voices that I think could truly help change things for the better. So let's kick this one off with Ava DuVernay. There is a lot on Ava's filmography that I think is well worth a watch, but right now I got to put the spotlight on my personal favorite of the bunch. It's When They See Us, which you can now stream on Netflix. It tells the story of the Central Park Five who were victims of social injustice and racism. And while it does very clearly illuminate the systemic problems in this country, it's also a very deeply personal and character-driven account, essentially bringing the viewer as close as possible to feeling what Antron McRae, Kevin Richardson, Yusuf Salam, Raymond Santana, and Corey Wise went through. And I really do think this one is essential viewing. And DuVernay is also extremely vocal on social media. And I've been using her Twitter and Instagram as a guiding light of sorts so that I can better understand and learn how I can make a difference for quite some time now. So follow her at Ava on both Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to cheat a little bit with this next one, and I'm just going to say the entire incredible creative team of Pose. It's an FX series, but season one is streaming right now on Netflix, and season two is due to hit the platform on June 11th. The show takes place in the 1980s ball scene, and it features one of my absolute favorite ensembles. It's just a show that so firmly has its heart in the right place, and it also encourages the viewer to both engage and to learn about someone else's truth. Again, the ensemble, it's huge and poses one of those shows where it's super tough to pick a favorite character because their arcs are all so full and all of the stars have such a powerful presence that's just magnetizing. But personally, I've got to go with MJ Rodriguez's Blanca as my favorite because Blanca is just bursting at the seams with warmth and generosity and always pushing the importance of family. All of Blanca's big moments, they, they kind of feel like a warm hug in a sense. She's just a character who promotes kindness and acceptance and also encourages self-worth as well. And since watching Pose, I've been following MJ Rodriguez on Instagram. And if you go over there, you're going to see a lot of the pillars that make Blanca a very special character upheld over there. So check her out on Instagram. It's MJ Rodriguez 7 Finally, for today, I am going with writer-director J.D. Dillard. I do have to say that Sweetheart is quite good, but right now I'm going to highly recommend my favorite of his films, and it's Slight, which is available to watch on Hulu if you have the Cinemax add-on, or you can also purchase it on a variety of platforms right now. Features an excellent performance from Jacob Lattimore as Bo. He's a young man who's trying to take care of his little sister after the death of their mother. And in order to do so, Bo turns to two things. Street magic, which he's very passionate about, and also selling drugs. Jacob Lattimore knows how to nail every single beat of Bo's journey, and Dillard knows exactly how to bring the most out of that performance. It's such an effective mix of style and emotion, and 
really showed that Dillard is a filmmaker who knows how to make the most of what he's working with. And because I can't help myself right now, we see him do that all over again with his movie Sweetheart. And you can stream that one on Netflix too. I can't help recommending both right now. But again, Dillard is also a voice that I've found myself gravitating towards with everything that's going on right now. And I'm glad he's there on Twitter between his own words and also the words that he's choosing to share from other people. I've just found that he's really contributing to nudging me in the right direction right now, which I greatly appreciate. You could follow him on Twitter at JG Dillard. So I hope you guys check out all those recommendations. But now, of course, we do have to get to that winning puzzle answer. And we actually have a new person in play this time around. It is Kevin Brown with the win. Congratulations, Kevin. You are officially in the race for a prize. The answer to last week's crypto quote that got Kevin the win was building a dream from your memory is the easiest way of losing your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. And of course, I'd like to bet a whole bunch of you already recognize that that is a quote from Leonardo DiCaprio's Cobb in Inception. So that was last week's answer. I got a good one for you today. I'm really excited to see who solves this one first. So Get ready, guys. The new puzzle is going up right now. You guys know the drill at this point. First person to put the correct answer in the comment section below will be our weekly winner. So good luck to you all. And again, I hope you follow everybody that I just mentioned. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, being kind to yourself and others. And I will see you next week for a brand new movie, Crypto Quote.